You never stop. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. okay. Um, and also, honey, do you wear glasses? Uh, I do, for reading. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And could you do me a favor and just um, have your eyes checked? Because they're, uh, the angels are telling me there could be a change in your reading prescription. I did just, I just had a new prescription. Oh, oh, okay. All right, now they're showing off, like, ha, 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 they knew that. Yeah, okay. I just had it done. Okay. And I'm you just had it done. Ago. All right, so this is their way of showing you they know what they're talking about, okay. and um, it's all going to be good in your hood, girlfriend. So, Sounds good. Um, yeah, so uh, you, wanted, uh, you wanted to know about having fun and uh, uh, feeling good, and it's, it's coming your way. Okay. What about any engagements in the near future? Hmm. Ooh, love. The love zone. That's like my favorite zone. All right. We should all be in the love zone. All right. Um, well, I want to say after your birthday. Oh, okay. All right. Like November, I'm seeing Thanksgiving. Oh, that would be cool. Okay. And uh -huh. that's, talk about having something to be thankful for. Love is something we're, we should always be thankful for. And I am thankful. Yeah. So uh, the, you having the real deal and getting that commitment um, mm -hmm. in November, honey. So congratulations in advance on that. All uh, right. I will definitely let you know about that. <laughs> okay. Get back to me. Please do. I will. All right. Good. And in the meantime, enjoy it. Go have some chocolate. <laughs> yeah, after I go to the gym. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for calling in, honey. All right, have a good night. Thanks. You too. Bye bye. Bye. And of course, as you already are aware, my f favorite healer extraordinaire is here with me tonight, Teresa. Thank you so much for coming here and being with us and sharing your fabulous energy and um, allowing people to get in touch with themselves so they can heal themselves. And um, that you started out in the artistic world and the film world and uh, segued into healing. Um, so many artistic uh, mu uh, people, musicians, uh, filmmakers, whatever, they're all on that empath, higher level, intuitive uh, energy wavelength. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice that you segued the way you did. Could you uh, tell everybody a little bit about that? I can try. I'm not really sure how it happened. Once, um, once I felt called to start doing yoga, I really then got more and more into the healing world. When my the Swami sent me to the Reiki class, I started doing Reiki immediately and I continued doing healing work while I was working in the art world the whole time. I just recently really left and uh, I'm doing this kind of work full time. But really, honestly, the whole physics of color has really helped me in, in this healing work because wearing certain colors and helping people pick their colors really enhances their healing and it helps propel it forward or hold it back. So that's one way this has really helped me. And the art was a really great outlet for a long time until it wasn't. It wasn't enough anymore. And right. so now the whole healing aspect of things came in and I'm still doing art, but I'm doing more art for myself. Oh, that's so, brilliant. And also, yeah. do you use it to, because the chakras, mm -hmm. uh, our energy centers, all have colors assigned to them. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, does, when you um, uh, are working with someone, uh, does it present itself to you that way? Are you like Walt Disney? Is it living color? Um, you know, do their chakras light up for you where you know where they need to do some energy work? Yes, I see color. I also, I just intuitively know, I'll feel. Um, there is a lot of color that does present itself. Color is very much a part of my life. So So I could come see you and say, could you color my world yes, and absolutely. you can produce. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yes. Um, so, and I, you know, that's so true because I know that um, uh, so many cultures will say, you know, you have to wear red to deflect negative energy mm -hmm. or, you know, purple, such a spiritual color or, you know, the, the, the cool colors are just so calming and if you want to rev yourself up you know get some hot colors going and um, uh, that resonance that energy resonance is palpable physically mm -hmm. and I th they've even done that in prisons they've they've learned that by painting the walls a pale pink not hot pink if they saw you I don't know jailhouse rock would be breaking out but uh, the, the the pale pink it's soothing yes. and uh, it lowers the aggressive energy mm -hmm. so um, uh, when you work with people and you give them their colors is this something they have to incorporate every day or is this something they just have to visualize 
It's something they can incorporate. Like I talk to them about how I dress intuitively, like the angels show me what colors I need to wear each day. But someone who's dealing with something like chronic inflammation and chronic pain, I tell them never to wear red especially in the area where they're feeling pain because the red color will actually aggravate the pain. So it's things like that. Yeah, it's, it's other times it really doesn't matter much, but especially with chronic pain, it's a big issue. And people who tend to attract a lot of negativity in their life, it's very difficult for them to wear black all the time just because it is. Mm -hmm. So starting to incorporate other colors into their wardrobe as well as the black will actually help them to sort of change that patterning and then they can wear whatever they want. So right. Oh, that's really great. So you gradually help them morph to where they need to go. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, um, is uh, yoga part of your uh, personal practice or do you uh, bring that into your, um, your, your clients, your, your patients as well? Yes, I, I do both. Um, I do yoga every day, every single day. It's part of my life, and everything in my life is yoga. You know, yoga is not just one thing. It's, it's everything. It's not just the movement. It's the approach to life. So I have fully embraced yoga, and um, I do bring it to my clients in the capacity that they are willing and want it. Um, some people don't want to do the asana, but they want to learn meditation, so we'll bring it in that way. Other people want to learn the asana and not meditation. So, But I always say yoga is its own teacher. You know, so mm -hmm. you do the yoga, it teaches you. It doesn't matter. It's That's fabulous. And um, I, you know, as you're sitting here, I, I, I know that uh, your energy and your healing energy, hopefully we can uh, help uh, Jake, who's at the microphone. Jake, thanks for coming this evening. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, you handsome Taurus, you? Okay. Uh, Jake, do you have a specific question for Teresa? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I know you're talking about you know, it, it kind of rang to me that, you know, maybe I could work on my, managing my emotions and stuff like that. Would you have any recommendations in terms of, you know, wearing particular colors or, you know, diet or things of that nature? You know, yeah, that would be great. Okay. So um, in terms of managing your emotions, can you just give me a little bit more about that? Yeah. I'll, yeah. I mean, well, the, I usually battle with a lot of, uh, you know, specifically anxiety. Okay. I do battle with depression and frustration. Those are the big three. I mean, that's a lot, but that's what I have. Yeah. Okay. I would brighten up your wardrobe um, okay. a little bit, just a little bit. I would avoid black when you can. Okay. Um, <laughs> just for now. I um, got you. Avoid too much blue also, because for people with depression, that also can mm -hmm. exacerbate yeah. some of the depression. If you're going to wear blue, maybe a turquoise would be a better blue for you, especially with your eyes. Bring out your eyes. Oh, thank you. um, and in terms of food, a lot of what we suffer from in this country is uh, not having enough oxygen in our blood, mm -hmm. and that automatically takes our energy down. So as soon as we start eating really fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, you can eat other things as well, but really high quality, really fresh things, whether it be fruits, vegetables, grains, meats, um, get the best quality you can. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you can afford organic, please try, try some organic foods, even if it's sure. just one thing that you eat all the time, if it's strawberries or salad, whatever right. it is. Right. Um, and see, actually just, even if you just switch one thing to organic, see how that changes, if it changes okay. what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, do you know about emotional uh, connectivity uh, with the foods that you eat and stuff like that? Meaning, you know, the foods that you're attracting in, in its relations to your own emotional state? Food energetics. Yeah, and, stuff like yeah. that. I mean, I just had a question. Would you know? I mean, I've noticed the food that I have historically ate the most is anything salty or anything spicy. Mm -hmm. It's got to be salty or it's got to be spicy. So, is that any significance or I yes. don't know? Yes, yeah, spicy is probably. Do you feel very low energy a lot? Um, when I when I get back from work, I'm exhausted. I don't crave I don't crave that. You know, morning or lunch. It's always at night. So, yeah, yeah. that that would make sense. Spicy yeah. is really like I want to spice up my life. I want to get something moving. I need energy. Okay. Um, and that's actually a healthy way to so do it. So it, spicy isn't bad for it's not too bad for you. Is no, it? as long as you're not like burning your tongue and crying. No, I just put Tabasco um, or I don't know. It, 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 okay. That's and fine. And then salty. I, I have no idea why, but I always crave it. Salty. Um, how much water are you drinking? Hmm? Home. Not not enough. Yeah, I, I don't why. drink. I don't drink too much water. That's why I'm craving salt. A lot of people crave salt when they're dehydrated. So if you're really? craving salt, it's an automatic go to check your ounces. How much water have I drank? And yeah. most likely you're dehydrated. Yeah, because you know, I'm always on the run in the day, so it's hard for me to, you know, 
shrink constantly or to be on top of that. So yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So try that. Sp spot Brilliant. on. Yeah. Brilliant. And also on a, um, a, a spiritual level, salt is the flavor. Uh, nothing has flavor. Nothing tastes good without it. That's it's right. all bland. That's right. Okay, so you want the spice of life. You want <laughs> you want it to taste good. You want it to get to get you moving and grooving. Oh yes. And um, uh, so uh, I think along with what Teresa has suggested here, um, to be proactive with. Um, uh, all right, let let me get it moving. Let me take salsa dances. Let me let, let me learn how to salsa. Let me let me uh, uh, get my my move and my groove on. Let me um, you know that uh, you find something an outlet that brings you that uh, you know that joy of life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You no, know, because I always try to do that outwardly to be that happy person, but. Uh, you know, once you're that guy, there's that pressure to have that smile on your face, and you have to, you know, uh, put aside your other feelings because you don't want to throw off people. You don't oh, want to be Oh, not always, sweetheart. I mean, you know, I, I'm listening to you, and I, I see Robin Williams in my head. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I hear that and, every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, and I love I love you, Robin. I really do. Is, and is, is it the nose? That <laughs> no, you're you're handsome. It's the Just five the way God seven, made yeah. you, babe. Um, it's it's about you know. Um, my reference meeting was the tears of a clown. Here was Robin Williams who who, who made everybody laugh and was yeah. always expected to be on. Yeah. And like what you're saying, you know, always smiling, always the happy guy. Always, always. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you know, uh, uh, you have to uh, embrace the uh, the yin and the yang. You know, the darkness and the light. You know, yeah. in yeah. yourself. Yes. No. The dark guy. Try to put that when you know when the. Day, when the day's over, I'm I'm okay with that, and I'm okay to embrace that. It's just hard for me to put that out there because I like to, you know, you know, brighten everything around me. And I don't want to be that guy who bogs down anything. You know, I, I know a lot of those people, and but you know, I understand it's a lot of it takes okay, confidence. But honor yourself. Yes, honor sure. yourself. I mean, it's great that you want to uh, make people's lives happier and uh, better, and um, and you do that. Okay, but um, you also have to honor yourself, and there'll be days when it's uh, you know uh, you know what's that song? You had a bad day, taking it down. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and that's okay. We all have them. Right. So it's just acknowledging that and letting it be. But um, I, I think that your um, uh, once you start following Teresa's suggestions about the color working in harmony because you're a Taurus you're all about I want to see it I want you tactile Definitely. I want to touch it yes. I want to taste it I want yes. you know it's got to be real and uh, visceral for you yes so um, you know uh, that will uh, totally make you feel better yeah what color do you think is best for him I just keep seeing him in turquoise yeah. Yeah. Turquoise. Okay. Make those I'm better eyes, with my colors. Is that like a light, pop out lighter of the blue? Head even more than yeah, the like a really down. bright oh, light me. blue. Yeah. And okay. you'll see. You're gonna have to like. People are just gonna give you a lot like different Paul attention. Like Paul Newman eyes. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you a bodyguard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'll, I'll call you if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think you're. I think you're fabulous. I think Likewise. your Likewise. healing energy is mm -hmm. um, brilliant. Thank that you. people are blessed to know you all Thank right you, I try. and um, you know the spotlight boom, from heaven right on your head <laughs> Jake all right so uh, keep up the just being you because you're doing you're fabulous just being you thank you very much thank you Teresa and thank you Grace oh my pleasure I'm oh, sure it's Teresa's very spot as well on. Absolutely. yes thank you thanks thank for uh, coming up to the microphone there thank you for having Step me it always up. my I love pleasure it. Thank thanks you. Jake all right okay so it's it's helping people and giving them the right information that can really make um, the difference in, in, in their life. And you, you deal with that every client by client by client. Mm -hmm. and, and I've stood exactly in the shoes that he's standing in now. I've had anxiety. I've dealt with depression. I know where he's at. And it's also for an empath, that resonance that makes you better able to help somebody. Oh, Which totally. Amazing. Absolutely. Although there are times, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm so empathetic that I just uh, stop the world I want to get off, and I need my alone time yes. to recalibrate and recharge. And like, whoops, too much information, TMI, TMI. And, you know, you just have to regroup and just get lost in reading a book or meditation or uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think every, uh, everybody has to acknowledge, hey, we're human. Uh, we do have thresholds and 
boundaries that we have to respect. And right now, astrologically, with Jupiter going into the sign of Virgo, it's all about health. Your client's list is going to start expanding. Okay, and um, occupational hazard, I have to read for you as you're sitting here. <laughs> um, you know, your, your client list is going to really start uh, opening up. I really feel that you're going to be bi-coastal going out to California. I also feel that um, somehow you are going to be introduced through your yoga to Alec Baldwin's wife, who's really into yoga. She's a yoga instructor. Um, and... Uh, Bing, you know, it's sometimes in life, not what you know, it's who you know, and that th this is vom, 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 the universe opening up doors for you. You're a Gemini, you're brilliant, you can multitask, you've got five things going on in that beautiful brain <laughs> as, we, as I speak, okay? <laughs> and um, it's all about you bringing that fabulous information because Gemini's uh, uh, rule communication, all right? Mm -hmm. And um, it's let me communicate to you what you need to uh, heal. And you do it so brilliantly, but you you help it out a little. There's a little vig in there. You're like, with your energy work and the essence that comes from your heart and your soul, all you got to do is show up, honey. And people's lives, you know, oh gee, all of a sudden I feel better, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I I was feeling tired before, but not now. Why? How could that be? It must be that hot pink dress. <laughs> okay. So it's it's uh, you uh, having that awareness and that consciousness of your consciousness, mm -hmm. if you know what I'm saying. Okay. And so, um, yeah, onward and upward, bigger and better. This is something that um, you won't uh, just share with the people who are lucky enough in the continental United States. It's going to be worldwide. Mm -hmm. And the, boy, does the world need healing. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're so aware of that. So orchestrating um, and helping to facilitate other people's healing. Uh, I have to get your autograph now because, uh, you know, I'll be saying, cut to the videotape. Remember when she was on the show? And um, this is just what a blessing to have, you know, um, have you here. Uh, knowing you and knowing what you're and seeing what you're going to be doing for others so it's it's just brilliant for you um, now did you uh, talk about writing a book or were you going to publish something I keep being told I'm gonna write a book okay so, so when you know once twice three times God's trying to tell you something okay so it's about uh, maybe your um, observations maybe the the way that you've um, uh, synthesize the different modalities and seeing how it works. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's with those different combinations that, uh, you know, boom, miracles happen. You know, I, and they, this is so funny. They show me the example of baking soda and lemon juice in the kitchen drain and it foams up and goes, woo, you know, and all, all those bubbles. It's like that kind of effervescent explosion of, uh, of healing energy that you're going to come up with that um, really is going to take the world by storm and um, um, I, I just mean that metaphorically not you're going to create storms or anything like that with mother nature um, <laughs> blow out lights you were talking about blowing out lights and that's why uh, uh, your uh, teacher yoga teacher sent you to uh, a Reiki class mm -hmm. is that correct yes now when you do Reiki do you is it hands-on or you don't have to touch somebody you don't have to touch somebody um, okay and can you do it remote like Yes, actually most of my clients are worldwide now and I do most of my clients via phone or Skype in terms of sessions. I, wow, fabulous. I do still see some local people, um, but for the most part everything is remote. Wow, that's awesome. Now when you key into, what do you need to key into somebody's energy to send them healing energy? Is it a name? Is it a, a voice? Is it, well, how do you key in? It's intention, really. They will will talk for a couple minutes and um, by just asking for the session they're giving me permission to step in and I step into their field with the intention that I only be shown what is necessary to see for their healing. I don't want to go in and see everything they've ever been through. That's for me an invasion of privacy. So I really stand in integrity with that where I only want to see what I need to communicate to you for healing. Um, so it's really just intention and the connection verbally first and then we hang up, they go relax mm -hmm. and then we connect again. It's funny that you um, that you say, uh, say it that way because um, that just shows me that you're an ethical practitioner. 
okay? Um, and if, if something from their past needs to be shown, it is, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, because that could have the, um, be the reason or the fulcrum point for their, their current misery. Right. Right, okay. So in order to eradicate all the things that go bump in the night, Right, that aren't fun at least. Um, <laughs> but about, um, uh, you have to sometimes go there. Sometimes yeah. you have to go into the the the, uh, the darkness and the shadow to heal it. You know, you have to bring the light to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, one of my favorite Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, quote, uh, quotes is, you know, uh, only uh, the light can heal the darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, um, and I think that if so many people would just get over their uh, false evidence appear, appearing real, the acronym for fear, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, it would really assist the planet in elevating um, it to the level where it needs to be. Absolutely. All it takes is one little candle in the middle of a football field to light the entire stadium. Yeah, that illumination. That's yeah. it. That's and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put you in the middle of the football field. <laughs> Light bright. Okay. <laughs> and um, now with, uh, now do people have to come see you at an office or uh, you said you can talk to them remotely on a phone or? My clients at the moment are all over the world, so I see everybody via phone or Skype, whichever phone works Phone or better. Skype. Okay, cool. Yeah. Whatever they're comfortable with. Whatever they're comfortable and, with. And um, your website is? HealthyVibrantU.com. HealthyVibrantU.com. And what a wonderful way to wrap it. Do, do, do. HealthyVibrantU.com. Wrap up the show. Do you believe that a half an hour has gone by? No. No, I don't either. Okay. But it has. So everybody watching the rebroadcasted version, you want to be here live and, um, hey, just shoot me that email, gracegrella at gmail.com. We'll make it happen for you. Um, everybody here donates their time, their talent, and with a lot of love. So uh, big hugs to uh, Allen Ginsberg, uh, Kay Miller, Karen Miller, love you. Uh, Harold, Sabina, Mike Peters, I love you, meaty man. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for making this happen for us. Thank you. Thank you. The old thing.